hello everyone hope you all are doing great guys today in this video we are going to troubleshoot this network in this network there is some problem some machines are not able to communicate with each other and we will see what is the problem right so first of all i am going to familiar uh, i am going to make you familiar with this topology then i am going to show you what is the problem in this topology and then in a step 3 i will show you how to troubleshoot it fine so guys problem is as you can see over here this is my computer a and this machine is member of vlan 10 this machine is member of vlan 20 in the same way this machine is vlan in member of 10 and this machine is member of vlan 20 okay so now problem is this is 10 20 10 20 fine here you can see there are there are two switch switch 1 and switch 2 both are connected through one router and this router is connected to isp here i am running ip 192.168.10.100 actually i am not running this ip address on this physical interface i am running this ip address on virtual interface e 1/0.10 right where i have configure encapsulation for vlan 10 and i have configure e 1/2 means on this interface dot 20 for vlan 20 where i have configured this ip address fine i am running net over here so that we can translate our 10 and 20 uh, traffic of vlan 10 and vlan 20 into a single public ip address right so actually i am running pat over here not net port address translation so these all machines are able to access internet but you know these all machine are able to access internet but pc1 i think is not able to ping pc number 2 because it should ping because we have configured third channel over here between switch 1 and switch 2 then we have configured trunk link right trunk between switch 1 and switch 2 okay this link is also configured as trunk this port is also configured as trunk and here you can see i am running this ip address on vlan 10 interface and this interface this ip address on vlan 20 interface that means vlan 10 should able to communicate with vlan 20 okay so pc1 i think is not able to ping with pc2 in the same way pc1 is not able to ping pc3 but pc1 is able to ping pc number 4 right in the same way pc4 can also ping to pc1 but pc4 cannot ping to pc number 3 cannot ping to pc number 2 there is no any acl configured on the router because on on the switches or on the router because of that communication is not happening guys okay there is no concept of acl we have not apply any acl to stop communication between computer a1 and computer 2 or maybe computer 1 and computer 3 there is no acl configure actually there is some misconfiguration by network engineer right network engineer have configured something wrong over here so that is the reason why these machine are not able to ping okay so first thing is all machines are able to access internet all machine are able to ping their default gateway like all uh, uh, computers which is in vlan 10 can ping this ip address can also ping this ip address right but pc1 cannot ping to pc2 and pc3 in the same way pc4 can also not communicate with pc3 and pc2 this is the problem okay so first of all i am going to show you the problem here you can see i have already configured ip address on each interface of router and um, pcs and i have already configured trunk ether channel these things are okay so here on pc1 if you will run so ip command so ip here you can see ip address is 192.168.10.1 and this port is member of uh, okay this pc is member of vlan 10 okay and this one is default gateway so you can see this machine is able to ping the default gateway 192.168.10.100 fine this machine can ping pc4 as well let me show you so ip address of pc4 is ping 192.168.20.2 this is this is member of vlan 20 and i am pinging from pc1 who is member of vlan 10 so you can see pc1 is able to ping pc4 as well but pc1 cannot ping to pc2 let me ping to pc2 pc2 ip address is 20.1 okay so see this machine is not able to ping 20.1 and i here i am getting request time out error fine request time out means i am not receiving reply okay now in the same way from route, let me ping pc number 3 from same pc so ip address of pc3 is 10.2 
okay okay so here you can see i am not able to ping 10.2 okay so but if i will ping to the public ip address 100.1.1.1 suppose which is running on router e1/1 interface so here you can see i am able to ping the public ip address that means all pcs are able to access internet right no problem but there is some problem in lan communication that means we will start troubleshooting from switches so first of all we will check vlan go to switch number 1 and here i am going to check vlan first of all so so vlan brief fine okay so here you can see there are two vlan exist actually default vlan is already available vlan 1 apart from default there are two external vlan vlan 10 and vlan 20 and this port is member of vlan 10 this port is member of vlan 20 everything is right here okay let me check vlan on switch number 2 as well say so vlan brief here also you can see a vlan 10 ethernet 0/1 okay exactly pc number 3 is member of vlan 10 and this pc pc 4 is member of vlan 20 so vlan configuration is right okay now let me check trunk link so interface trunk okay so let me check trunk configuration so interface e 0/0 e 2/1 and e 2/2 0 slash 0 that means 0 slash 0 is connected to router okay this port is already configured as trunk and we are running encapsulation dot 1q over here on this interface ethernet 2 slash 1 which is connected to switch 2 uh, here also you can see trunking is enabled and we are running encapsulation protocol dot 1q right A status is trunking native vlan is default vlan 1 ethernet 2 slash 2 is also connected to switch 2 here also you can see this link is configured as trunk and status is uh, trunking and encapsulation protocol which we are running over here is dot 1q by default native vlan is 1 okay so trunk link is also configured fine on switch 1 let me check trunk configuration on switch 2 so interface trunk here also you can see this port ethernet 0/0 is configured as trunk and here i am running encapsulation dot 1q status is trunking native vlan is 1 default okay so everything is fine but why it's not showing ethernet 2/1 and 2/2 as trunk here on this switch we need to configure trunk on ethernet 2/1 and 2/2 as well fine so here you can see on ethernet 2/1 and 2/2 we need to configure trunk let me check interface is there any ether channel configured so ether channel wow let me check so let me run so ip interface command so ip interface brief command actually to check the port okay so you can see here port channel 1 is configured but status of this port is down oh my god status is down and line protocol is also down that means we ether channel is down fine so now i am going to troubleshoot why this one is done so let me check run same command on switch 1 first that here also ether channel is configured or not so ip interface brief brief okay so here also you can see port channel is configured but status is done and protocol is done now we need to troubleshoot ether channel so this is the reason why pcs are not able to communicate right like pc1 is not able to ping pc2 and pc3 fine because trunking is not working between switch 1 and switch 2 so if trunking will not work between switch 1 and switch 2 actually here i have bundled this two link and i have config configure it as trunk fine this interface is also trunk this interface is also trunk so if i will ping pc2 from here source ip will be 192.168.10.1 destination ip address will be 20.1 right it will forward to switch switch will receive this frame on this interface it will check receiving interface vlan id so receiving interface vlan id is vlan 10 it will forward from trunk link right because it will not forward from 
this port because this port is member of VLAN 20 so it will forward to router right this link is configured as trunk and on this port this switch can learn the MAC address of this switch actually you know in the frame default gateway will be what because destination belongs to different network so default gateway will be 192.168.10.100 right that means MAC address of this interface will be the default gateway MAC address right so source MAC will be the MAC address of PC1 and destination MAC address will be the MAC address of default gateway so this switch will forward to router 1 and router 1 will receive on the virtual interface which is member of VLAN 10 it will remove the tagging then it will check destination IP so destination IP is 20.1 right it will forward to this interface the interface which is member of VLAN 20 because on that interface I am running 20.0 network fine from this interface this machine is going to send source IP will be same destination IP will be same 20.1 and source will be 10.1 but source MAC will be the MAC address of this interface and destination MAC will be the MAC address of PC2 this time yes or no it will forward to this switch and switch will learn the MAC address of this PC on this port channel right on p1 port but as you know this port is down so this 2 cannot forward to switch 1 switch 2 cannot forward the traffic to switch 2 this is the reason why machine the pc1 and pc2 are not able to ping okay so now here we need to troubleshoot it what is the problem why trunking is not working what is wrong configuration so let me start checking ether channel from switch 1 so let me run so run and section channel group channel group oh my god here you can see i have not run any command okay let me check on switch to so run section channel group okay okay here you can see i have configured channel group one mode is passive that means we are using lacp protocol to form form ether channel between switch 1 and switch 2 right this one is mode is passive but on router on switch number 1 engineer have forget to run this command maybe they need to configure a, a mode active right or maybe passive then only ether channel will form between switch 1 and switch 2 okay so actually we need to configure ether channel on switch 1 because engineer have not configured ether channel on switch 1 okay so this is the reason why machines are not able to ping already engineer have i think configures switch port uh, switch port mode trunk command on port channel fine now let me run one more command over here on switch 2 so ether channel if you will run this command here also you can see we are running which protocol over here lacp but if you will run so ether channel command over here you can see here i am not running any ether channel protocol fine so what we need to do just go to interface range e2 slash 1 2 2 and say channel channel group one and mode maybe let me configure active right or we can configure how many mode we can configure active so it will enable lacp as you know if you will configure auto it will configure pagp protocol if you will configure desirable desirable mode then it will enable pagp but you know this active can only uh, sorry auto can only start the negotiation desirable will always wait in the same way active can only start the initialization so this side on switch number two engineer app configure passive mode so here you need to configure active because passive passive cannot form neighborship uh, cannot form ether channel okay so maybe if suppose here you will run mode passive okay so again you can see machines cannot ping pc2 cannot ping to 10.2 see over here fine so this can be also the problem right misconfiguration so both side you cannot configure passive passive okay so let me configure active over here on switch number one and then let me ping so first of all remove this command from here say no and then channel 
group again one and this time mode should be what active and desirable mode will enable pagp on mode will for method channel manually and passive mode will also enable lacp but this can only wait so here i am going to set active okay now you can see so interface so ip interface you can run so ip interface brief and here you can see i think this time port should be up here you can see a status of this port is also up and line protocol is also work now on switch number one if you build and so interface trunk command here you can see this port means 0 slash 0 and port port channel one is configured as trunk in the same way on switch number two if you build and same command so interface trunk so interface trunk command so here also you can see ethernet 0 slash 0 and p1 is configured as trunk now pcs can ping pc1 can ping to pc2 let me check yes now you can see all pcs are now able to communicate with each other so let me ping pc number three what is the ip address of pc3 10 dot two so you can see now this pc is also able to ping 10 dot two let me ping pc number four so ip address of pc number four is 10 dot 20 dot two which is member of vlan 20 fine so now you can see all machines are able to communicate with each other all machines are able to ping internet 100.1.1.1 fine so this is very basic troubleshooting of ether channel if you have any doubt please let me know in comment in next video we will discuss advanced uh, troubleshooting of ether channel as well right so this is all about we have already discussed the theory part in live session okay uh, so hope if you are my paid student you are getting everything right and if you are not my paid student and if you have learned something from this video please hit on like button okay guys that's all for today we will meet soon in next video and one more thing we are going to uh, launch ccnp live training from 20th of february so if anyone uh, is interested you can enroll we have very less seat left now uh, i think so only five to six uh, people can enter five to six seats are available only okay so if anyone is inter interested uh, enroll as soon as possible okay because we are going to meet soon or from 20th of february bye bye guys that's all for today